Oh, this is borderline embarrassing. We're finally doing it. We are doing the Disney slash Universal haul. I'm not gonna lie, I'm dreading this. A, because I'm slightly embarrassed, and B, because I am so OCD about how I like to do things. Like, videography, photography is my job. I'm very particular about how I want an edit to look like, particular type of shots, and with something like this, where I'm showing clothes, tiny delicate things, I'm gonna wanna do close-ups and stuff like that. My life is semi-turbulent at the moment. I am dealing with a poorly pup. It's looking like everything is okay, but just life is lifing. It could be worse, but my brain can only handle a certain amount of capacity. So avoiding a tangent, let's just get into it. So. Let's start with what we got at the airport. I was lured in by beauty and by the sunglasses section. Elemis was doing a deal where you end up getting one of these for free and a like a gift bag of like minis. I gave them to Andrew's mum for, for like, kind of like for Christmas, but also like, I really think you're gonna enjoy this. So I used the Elemis Pro Collagen cleansing balm. I think I've repurchased it two or three times. Bought three, but you ended up getting like one of the three for free and then the gift pack. So I gave a full size to Andrew's mum and she's absolutely loving it. I then kept, because I've used the original, I thought she can have the original because I know that I got on that on with that really, really well, that I'll keep the rose one and the green fig one. Haven't opened this one, but I am halfway through it. And it is just amazing. Not only does it smell great, but it just is so, so nice on my skin. Really happy with those. And then my second purchase was another pair of Mew Mews. If you have been following the vlogs, there are only two glasses I wore. A lot of you asked what these were, and I was, <laughs> I kind of dangled the carrot a little bit because everyone's like, what are the glasses, what are the glasses? And I never showed them. I probably did vlog it, but then it just it just came out of the edit. These are my Mew Mews. I got them for, I believe it was 120 pounds. And I think they were originally 200 or just under 200. I am not gonna talk about pricing with all of this stuff because I did keep a wad of the receipts, but there is just so many variety of things to show you. The pricing is just like this. Now it comes down to, and this is gonna be embarrassing because I bet there's nothing in it now because I've been using it. On the plane, you get a white company, little leather, leather makeup bag, very small makeup bag, and you get a toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs, a pen, I think it's in my handbag, but I got a roll-on stick, and then you get a gentle moisturizer and a lip balm. I didn't use the lip balm. Oh yeah, that's all of that. That's the pre-holiday bits. It literally is just like, chaotic. So I'm going to start with beginning of the holiday when we did the Christmas party, I believe day three, and then the other bits will start making some sense. We went to Mickey's very merry Christmas party. It was very merry and uh, Christmassy. I said to Andrew, and you will see in the vlogs, that I was adamant. I was like, Andrew, we have to get the pin. We have to get the pin and like the free little ornament. And that we did. So the free little ornament was this little doodad. And then the pin was this. Do people do this? Does that help? Love it. Um, and then we got these like cute little wristbands. Andrew's mum actually was like, uh, she messaged us going, you can actually do something with those. Get a clear ball ball and put them inside and put it on your tree. And I was like, genius. Didn't do it, but there is always next year. Um, I got something that little old me, Grace, seven year old Grace inside. Um, to be honest, 32 year old me um, still absolutely ecstatic about. I finally got a bubble wand. I used it once and it was that night and that night only. I did 
annoy the dogs with it when I came home. I used it around in, in our room at Pop and was just being silly. But I think I'm just, I was getting really jealous because all these little kids had one and I was like, well, why can't I have one? I never got one, so I've got one. Um, it lights up. This also does something. I'm gonna be honest, I'm still working it out. And when I got back from holiday and I left it on my mum's dining room table, my sister started pressing buttons and made herself jump. But this is the favorite bit. Isn't that amazing? Okay, too much, too much, too much. Let them disperse. So that was like a massive treat. And the second massive treat filled my my cup to be honest the whole the whole trip did but this in particular i started a pressed penny collection um on this trip and it was also the first trip where i went pin mad uh, i'm just i'm i'm a disney adult and a collector now and i am currently looking for a pin board a really decent pin board where i can display them all my office across the way in the new house is going to have a space for pins, something on the wall or something leaning that's quite big, I don't know. But Andrew has got a, he must be 25 years old now, a pin book. It's like massive, it's like a big square and you unzip it and it's got loads of pages in it. And these are like, I've got ancient pins in them, Disney ancient pins. Uh, I got shown it last year by Andrew's parents and obviously Andrew was showing me the pins. It was main, mainly like me and Andrew's mum like geeking out. And I was like, we have to continue this. And I rearranged all the pins in the book that one are just Disneyland Paris, the other ones are Walt Disney World. You've got like a transport section, a ride section of pins. And I just I went off, I went off on one. I'll go on to pins in a second, but for me, and my own little journey. Starting a pressed penny collection was so, it was such a buzz and really affordable. So much so that you can see I've almost filled the whole book up. So I ended up like, I guess the buzz slowed down because I was getting a bit stressed that I, I was gonna have to buy another book and I didn't like another book that was out there. It was like either the 50th anniversary, which we weren't in anymore and wouldn't have made sense to my journey, my pressed penny journey, or it was like a princess book and it was like, I just didn't like it. So I did stop over halfway through my lovely pressed penny book. Such a buzz. There's a lot of pins. Let's start with the first pin that we did get. We stayed at Pop and you can't not get a pop pin. The one that actually represents pop century was out of stock, but nonetheless, we got this one because we did go at Christmas. And I can actually tell you the price of this. This was $20. So as I said, we stayed at pop, but then we also stayed at the beach club. Because we got that pin, there was obviously like a theme going on. We had to get the beach club's version. It's kind of like Nemo inspired, which, Semi makes sense because the beach club is about the beach, but also like Epcot's around the corner and you've got the seas and stuff. But it's, as you can see at the bottom, it's like a limited edition 2023. I couldn't just get one pin because I also like, I love this one as well. It is the beach club. It is a 2023 edition as well. But I think that, I absolutely love it though, because it's a sand castle. It's got the little mermaid and everything. Oh no, I like this because it's got, it's gingerbread. And if you did go to the beach club or have gone to the beach club at Christmas, you will see that they have a gingerbread carousel that moves in like the foyer bit. Beach club was amazing with their like sand bottom pools. It was, um, it was such a treat to stay there. I don't think we'll be staying there again anytime soon because the prices are just, they are rank, they are ridiculous. <laughs> But it was, it was amazing that we did go. Oh, look, I found another beach club pin. Can you tell we really enjoyed the beach club? This is their actual resort pin all year round that they have. If you did watch the vlogs, you might have maybe caught on that Andrew and I's favorite ride is Guardians. That and Tron, I think, were the ones that were up there. That, Tron and Haunted Mansion. Well, the rides I feel like we went on the most. So we couldn't get some 
couldn't help but get ourselves some Guardians pins. So we've got this one, make sure you can see them. And then this one. And then our Tron pin is also fabulous. Again, in the vlogs, if you did watch, I was absolutely petrified going on this ride. I had a little panic attack and I had to step to one side with a cast member going like, I'm not sure I can go on it. And he was like, okay, well, it's not here yet. Like, take your time. There's no rush. Like, the ride's not very long. They were just really, really accommodating. I think Andrew was a little bit annoyed because he knew I could do it. And um, I did. And then we ended up going on it several times. So yay for Tron. So Haunted Mansion. I'll do the Haunted Mansion pins. Because they're quite reflective. It's hard to kind of work out what's what. But it was so hard to choose with all these pins because they've got so many versions of them. It's like, well, now you just, you're goading me now and I have to get them all. This is the other one. You, could, you can't not have a Madame Leota pin. Did you know that it's uh, the 25 year anniversary for Bugs Life? We had to get this pin, didn't we? Andrew, funnily enough, chose this one. I don't know whether Bugs Life was like, a favorite film of his growing up. But yeah, it's 25 years of Bugs Life. And he was like, oh, we have to get this one. I was like, all right, $20. Uh, I feel like he also picked this one and it was 95 magical years. And it spins, woohoo. That's just a classic really, isn't it? I know people bash moving pins, but it's so fun. You will chuckle because went into, I can't remember what shop it was called, but the shop next, door to where you can get in Pandora where you can get the burger pods got this pin all I wanted was a Pandora pin but I also wanted uh, the bag that everyone was carrying their avatar merch in and it was this bag yeah I looked a little bit silly it was very light because it was only, only had this in it. So keeping on theme, we got a um, Expedition Everest pin. Whoop. He moves. Wait. Whee. Whee. This was $16.99. Some of them have the, the doodars on the back. Kind of in the same arena, I got a magnet. If you have seen any of like my home vlogs or follow me on Instagram, our fridge, is covered in magnets. It started from just traveling. So when we went to Corfu a million times, when Andrew's gone away on work, you know, we went to York, we got some of there. It's from anywhere we go, if we can grab a, a magnet to just signify a memory, we get it and it goes on our fridge. So Andrew saw this one, he was like, we're getting this. I was like, okay. And um, we got a Guardians of the Galaxy one as well and it's rubbery, this one's rubbery. And I just love it, I love the colors, it's very retro, which is kind of like what Guardians Semi stands for. Then uh, whilst we were there, it was Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays, so we couldn't not get some merch. This was a tree ornament, which I love it because it's a Mickey head. And we got a matching pin as well. I am including some stuff that our lovely American friend had picked up for us that we just messaged her and we're like, oh, we've, I've seen this online. Is it possible for you to grab it and ship it to the UK? And we just pay her a fee to do that. A lot of people do do this. Um, it is quite annoying with Walt Disney World. They have a very, very quick turnaround and you are very lucky if it goes into the character warehouse. Yeah, it is a bit of an extensive thing to do. Uh, it's not something that we can afford to do often, but yeah, there are a few bits that we um, we did get our, 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 American, our American pal to um, get us that I am going to put in this vlog because it was only like a couple of weeks after we got home. One of them being a pin, because she is a annual pass holder, we can't actually purchase this, but she purchased this, purchased this for us. And the big thing that I was looking forward to doing on our honeymoon was going on the people mover with a snack and just watching the world go by, being in, the, being in our element. But my God, it was just down all the time. And any moment that we were going past Tomorrowland, bearing in mind we were going to Tron a lot and even the Christmas party and things, it was just down. But I still wanted the pin. 
So Andrew did ask our lovely lady to add this to our order that we were making as we got home and I didn't know about it so that was a surprise. I just have an absolute obsession with the people mover. It breaks down when you're on it but you can't not do the people mover. So really chuffed I have that. It was such a rainy day at Epcot and we found that everything that we wanted to do at Epcot was outside or in and out and we were semi-planning our next trip to go back to Disney World and we were potentially toying with the idea of staying at Caribbean Beach. So as the Skyliner route um, includes Caribbean Beach and we were at Epcot, we dipped out of the park and headed to Caribbean Beach to speak to a cast member at reception of what rooms they have, availability, time of the year of when to go, and um, the facilities and stuff and look at the map and what they offer. That meant that we could not look at the little gift shop and we picked up this magnet and it just says Walt Disney World on and it's got all the parks on there and you bet your bottom dollar that this is gonna be going on the fridge. The last pin is actually when we went to Disney Springs and it's a Gideon's pin. We did get a Gideon's and I will show you um, what else we got from Gideon's when I get to the Disney Springs section. So keeping with Disney and not moving over to clothes or universal, I got some ears. I was very much eyeing these ones up. I had to get like a generic picture outside the ride as well. Aren't they just amazing? I didn't really used to be an ears person. I'm prone to headaches but love these and the back. I actually really, really want the Valentine's ears that are on Shop Disney. But Andrew's like, no, nope, you're not allowed to get ears. You, you're only allowed to get ears when we are at Walt Disney World. Little does he know, I'm probably gonna go on the website and order them anyway when they go in the sale. And my second ears are these ones. These are Animal Kingdom ears. Now, I never thought I would be someone that would get Animal Kingdom ears because the ones that I've I tend to see are like leopard print and leopard print just isn't me. I like stripes. This is also a Disney top. <laughs> but I saw these, I was like, oh my God, Animal Kingdom is and I like them and it matches my hair because they're ginger and they're green. Green's my favorite color. And that I just find these just, just more to my taste. I also liked this, the embroidery down the side. When we were staying at, might have been Pop as well, but I think we just got these from Beach Club, was just H2O products. You can't not put them in my room and not expect me to take them and you refill them and me take them again. And then I just kept the mouthwash too. Oh, it takes you right back. Scents are just amazing, aren't they? We also got some badges. So happily ever after badges. This was just a plain one that we got. And then we got, I think this one's Andrew's. My one is in my jewelry box, but we had them uh, customized at the Christmas shop and it's about $5. Mine said honeymoon and it was in gold. And then I had two hearts here. Andrew's parents are there at the moment celebrating their 42nd wedding anniversary and they got badges too. And I really hope Jo will get another one that's personalized so that she can put it in her jewelry box too. Another thing that we just kept on buying, were mints. We were basically surviving on double espressos, triple espressos, keeping the energy up and eating when we can. But I don't know about you, but when you just have, you're running around and you've had coffee and then you're trying to drink, there are just so many flavors and tastes in your mouth that it, get, it gets to a point where it's like, oh my God, this is not nice. And I think they they banned chewing gum at Disney. I swear that was a thing but they had these mints. So I liked, this is upside down. I liked this tin anyway. Oh, there we go. There's, there's one and a half mints left. It's a Mickey mint. I swear we went through four of them. There was something naughty I did do. And don't dob me in. I stole a napkin. California grill was well good, but um, this fell on the floor and they gave me a new one. So when I picked this up, I, um, it's fell in my bag. I just, I love it. Don't judge. Now moving on to mugs. I'm not a massive mug person, but Starbucks mugs are the ones and you could so easily get carried away with them. So I'm only limiting myself to 
Disney ones and places that we go. So Andrew did a job up in Scotland and he came back with the Scotland mug, which is great, really love it. But yeah, my Disney ones, and whenever I do see Disney bring out like a series of Starbucks mugs, you can't not grab them whilst they're available. The first time that we went to Walt Disney World, we only managed to get the Animal Kingdom 50th, which was in 2022. But our lovely American friend, as soon as the new Discovery series came out, we were like, please, can you collect all four mugs from the Disney parks, please? This is me typing, by the way. And she succeeded. I have heard that so many people are struggling to still get these. I think you can only get the Animal Kingdom one in Epcot. I think it's Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom that just sold out very, very quickly. So the fact that we have the whole set is just... Section. I thought it was best that I just put this into a little section because there was only one other mug that we got on our honeymoon But with our lovely friend shipping us four Starbucks mugs. I thought I'll just put them all together So this is the animal kingdom mug. How stunning And then you've got the color inside as well it is just so perfect. So that's Animal Kingdom. This one is Epcot. I do this very delicately so you can see all the little drawings. Where is it? And then you've got like the matching color inside. I'm loving the color schemes. Magic Kingdom mug. Oh, it's just so pretty, look a little Tron. And then... Stunning. I just can't get over the colour scheme of all of these. They are just superb and very fitting. Sorry if that was a bit too quick. And then look little teal colour inside. What I love about them is that they're, they're very stackable. We don't have any cupboards in our kitchen, it's all like drawers and little like low cabinets so um, all of our mugs are, are like in a drawer so to have everything like semi-compact and together and not just willy-nilly all over the place, those mugs are perfect. The only other mug that we picked up was, yep, a Guardians of the Galaxy mug that when it gets heated up the Epcot ball shows up and it's just just love it andrew picked this and it's just like a really good mug i me personally i put my makeup brushes in it oh yeah you can see what it does heat sensitive the only other disney purchase that doesn't move us into clothing is my necklace. I said to Andrew that I wanted to come away from this trip with just a piece of jewellery that I can just come back with. I mean lots of things symbolise our trip and that's lovely but I wanted something that was very durable that I can wear every day that just signifies Obviously like you have a wedding ring and everything, but I just wanted something Disney. I don't always wear earrings all the time, but just something like a little dainty. So I, I did have in my head, like it's gonna be a necklace, it's gonna be a necklace, but I just, I'm just gonna keep my eyes out. And I, I saw this necklace on Thanksgiving at Coronado Springs in their little shop they have there. They had a, a jewelry section in like a glass cabinet and it was Chris Lou. Never heard of the brand before, but really, really liked what they were bringing to the table. Some of it's very Disney and then some of it like this necklace is just like very subtle. I am not someone that likes heart jewelry by any means, but I just felt like this looked like a locket. It's very thin, very dainty, and then it has like the heart hands. I mean, I always do the, the heart hands. It's just a very friendly emoji, I really like it. But then also, seeing uh, the Christmas, like the merry, very merry Christmas party, seeing Santa do this to all the kids, and then the other Santa at Universal doing that, oh, it just made me laugh. I'm like, I never ever thought in my lifetime that I would see Santa doing heart hands 
and these are Mickey heart hands and I just I was like I'm, I'm vibing with this piece of jewelry so um it was 150 dollars pricey I really really love it and it's so special came in this little box I did do some um obligatory photos because I got it in Hollywood Studios you go down the main strip and then you do a right and it's like where Pandora is, but it was like to the left in a own little section. I like, I was like held up on my hand and was doing this so it draped down in front of like the lights behind. I was like, Andrew, have you got it? Have you got it? A lot of the stuff that we got from Universal was Christmas ornaments and they are in the loft and I don't know how to get the loft hatch down in this new house, but I did put some stuff up at Christmas that you might see on my Instagram feed of it on the Christmas tree. We got a platform nine and three quarters dangly ornament, the Honey Duke's front door of the shop, and then we got a universal glass ball uh, that came in a box with like satin lining and everything. That was like $40 and we were literally like, oh, are we seriously going to spend this much on the ornament? But it's so dainty and pretty. Yeah, if you look back at some of the vlogs, you'll probably see it. Other than that, I will make a conceited effort to when Andrew's back to get into the loft, get them, and I'll show them in a home vlog if you are that interested. But I will show you the other things. They are only three things. We did get universal badges, is that that? Which they are a little bit battered. I had my one on my camera strap. Yeah, they're just really lovely to have. We got a universal and as Universal Orlando Resort Starbucks mug. I don't know whether anyone else follows Tommy and Jess on YouTube, follow Jess on Instagram, because we were there at the same time. I saw that she picked this up in Universal and I was like, oh my God, I didn't think, like they, they have a Starbucks there, they're obviously gonna do a mug. So I was like, Andrew, we have to go get one. So we picked that up, had to get this. Oh, bit of a hair there. Can you see that? Doesn't help that you're right by a window, but it's just um, Hagrid's motorbike ride, but in a magnet. Do you know what? The weird thing that we didn't get was any pins from Universal. That was weird. The last thing from Universal, which I really didn't want to show, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe for dinner. It was amazing. Love it. We have fajitas every time. This is not so amazing. Out of the blue, they just shoved us in front of a camera. We were holding our drinks and I, and I was like drinking my drink and like was like, like handed um, a guitar and they took our pictures and they're like, oh yeah, drinking a drink, that's such a good idea. Such, a, such an amazing photo idea. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, borderline smashed at that point. No, I wasn't, but I was like, these photos aren't gonna see the light of day, but now I can laugh about it, so. I am gonna have a whole section on clothing. This is universal. I got, I got this t-shirt. I didn't really want to go into clothes just yet, but I did get this in 2021, but it is now too big. So I wanted to get a smaller one so I can wear it with my jeans. And then I did, going back onto clothes again, I did get a Billabong tracksuit set, which again, you would have seen in the vlogs because when we went over to the Hard Rock Hotel, and spent our time at Universal. I uh, didn't pack my leggings, did I? It was mega cold. I ended up having to basically get something to warm me up. They are in the wash. I have got them at the side with all the clothes here, so I might show them, but I do, I do wear them in the vlog, so you'll also see it there. So at Disney Springs, on our second to last day, we went to Basin, or should I say I went to Basin, because Andrew was like, I'm done. It was so hot. And I got these shower bombs. Now at the time, we didn't know that we were gonna be moving here. And I probably would have benefited better from just getting bath bombs. But we had a bath shower at our old place, but Andrew, like months ago, months prior, fell in the shower, elbowed like the slopey bit of the bath and made a hole. So couldn't have baths anymore. So I went, oh, I'll get some shower bombs. I got four and I think, but there's only, this one smells of Avatar, the Avatar ride, and the other ones, 
just smell really nice and fresh. I bought these with a little bag and you put them in a bag and put it in the shower and sprinkle a little bit of water of it on it and it effervesces in the shower. But a little bit of a con is that it's really, really messy. So it just trickles down. If you have constant water or you, you chuck too much water on it, it just fizzes and just goes down and it has a massive river of the shower bomb. So don't really rate these unless I'm doing something wrong and you can doubt me whether I'm doing something wrong. What I did do right was go to Gideon's. As you can hear, there's nothing in here. We still have got some in the freezer, but we need to eat them ASAP because they only last three months in the, in the freezer and we are on the three month mark now. So um, they need to come out, be defrosted and eaten. I think they could maybe go up to six months, but I don't think they like to advise that because they probably don't taste as good. But we did bring them back home. My sister had some, my mum had some, and my brother had some. And Gideon's is just my absolute fave. It's, so, it's like the best sweet treat out there other than Jolly Ranchers. So when I saw they had a tin, I was like, this is going to be amazing to bring them home in, but also just really good for storage. They are just elite highly rate them. We spent a ridiculous amount of money on these because we knew we were gonna come back and freeze them. So um, yeah. Last thing was I went to Sephora and my favorite primer is the uh, Mattify and Refi. They've changed the packaging and I think they've actually changed the formula a little bit, but I got a two of these and um, either I'm doing something wrong or it's just, it's changed the ingredients, I'm not sure. Controls shine for up to 10 hours, witch hazel and white tea extract. Yeah, I'm more someone that likes to have like a matte base as possible and then add that glow because otherwise like everything can just be a bit slippy even if you do powder, I'm just, I'm a bit fussy like that. Moving on to Walmart and Target, finally got an Awala bottle. If you do follow Brogan Tate on the YouTubes, she's the one where I found out about this. What I love about it is that it's got like a little spout so you can literally chug it or you can literally be like this. That was probably like too much ASMR you didn't need in your life, but you can literally just slurp it. It's like a built-in straw. It's not dishwasher friendly, so I just hand clean it which never feels clean enough really, but it's just, it keeps things really cold. I put ice in this and we were in the Disney parks and was like filling up with water and it was just on really hot days, it was so nice to just stand there in the queue and just like sip along or just sit down and you just kind of just can refresh. So highly rate an Awala. Andrew got one as well in black. Basically, we go to Target or Walmart to get things that you just can't get in the UK. One being Jolly Ranchers. Andrew's parents are there at the moment and I'm tempted to ask them to get me another big, big boy of Jolly Ranchers. If you just have a sweet tooth after dinner, sometimes just having one of these, three of these or four of these are 70 calories, which is probably not great, but just having one of them, it just like, it hits, it just hits that sweet tooth, love it. And then the other stuff is sleep related. I don't have the best sleep and with my menstrual cycle I can get insomnia just be a little bit like a washing machine in bed so I just like stuff that's gonna knock me out and keep me knocked out I don't know whether this is a bit gimmicky but I've been enjoying it it is the Dr Teals they weren't in a gift set but they have worked really really well together I spray that on my pillow and then I rub this on my decolletage my wrists and behind my ears it's like a um, a balm and then you just it's just really nice. I just like it. And then I am almost out of these. And you shouldn't take melatonin every single night. Last time I went to America, not this time, I got some tablets and then I got some gummies. One was 10 and one was five milligrams. And I was just seeing what I like and it really, really does knock you out and is great, especially if you're having a bit of a week or just you're not great at falling asleep. Melatonin is good. Lastly on the Dr. Teal's bandwagon is just a little moisturizer. I just wanted something that was just small, a friendly size and a scent that I, that was just a bit neutral. I did, I do like the H2O products by Disney. I think I just wanted something that was a bit more nourishing and that was. I'm such a liar. There were more things. If you watch the vlogs, 
you will know I had a nightmare with my hair. And the plan was from the last experience from America, you UK buddies will know that going to America, the voltage system just doesn't work in our favor. My Dyson is really my go-to, my Revlon brush. Being a lot thicker, it just does the job quicker. is isn't as great on your hair, but it does do the job, but it's UK. I wanted to get an American version of this. It was on my list and I won't have that voltage problem. So I forgot to do that on our first trip that when we went to Target, but when we went to Walmart, I did remember to pick it up. Pretty much, if not exactly the same, but just in white. So it's just, it's just a Revlon brush. And this just did the job whenever I needed it, whether it was just to defrizz my hair and just go through it was great. I didn't want to take hair straighteners with me because that is like full on heat on my hair. And I just, I'm, I don't like the straightened look. I feel like it's flat. I wanted the blow dry look. So got that from Walmart. My lovely friend, Lauren, who does my nails, she went to Sally's or I think she went to Capital and she got me Color Wow Dream Coat because I've been using that for months anyway and ran out and she picked one up for me uh, because they were having a discount. So I gave her the cash and then I was like, yes, taking that, forgot to pack it. Forgot to pack it. So I picked up this split end therapy. It's from the Rice Water Collection by Millie. It's for daily use, but it's just, um, a nice serum to put through the ends of your hair or you can use it as a treatment and wash it out. That I feel like calmed the frizz because I, I can have hair like Monica Geller sometimes and this was great. I've actually used quite a lot but I think I can get this off of Amazon if I wanted to repurchase it. I'm not someone that goes all out with hairstyles at Disney. I did the first time I went and and spent a bit more time but really I just I have like like I'm doing now clipped my clipped my hair back. I like hair out of my face. I can't remember what, what it was called, but I'll try and find it. But it was just, she had a little collection come out. My hairdresser has a comb like this, but it's really expensive. This wasn't. It's probably not as wide toothed as her. If you go to curl your hair, this is ideal to just brush your curls out rather than your fingers. So I picked one of these up, one of those up, and then I just got these plastic bobbles that are better for your hair, which were by the same brand as well. Did also buy some little clips and little hair ties, but I never use those. I know I will use them at some point. Now we are in the realm of clothes, which I am partially dreading because there are a few bits, but we're just gonna go through it bit by bit. And I might do a reel of me trying all of these on and how I style them. Right, I'm gonna do all of these together because they are from the same design. Don't judge, these are dirty, but I, I wear them every single day. I got some Crocs, some Disney Crocs, and they've got a fluffy lining, or should I say, not so fluffy lining inside. Absolutely love them. I have said to Andrew's parents, I was like, if you can look out for another pair of Crocs because these ha these are like my indoor and outdoor Crocs and it's just not hygienic. I'm like scrubbing them and trying to keep them clean. So those are my, my Disney Crocs. And then keeping on theme, again, if you've watched the vlogs, you will know the chaos about this jumper. I got this in a large, I believe. Yes, I got it in a large and realistically, it's too big. It's too big, but I will just wear it oversized because it was too darn beautiful to not keep. Ideally, I probably would have liked a medium or a small, but the, the large can be styled. You've got like the embroidery, like that's on the back. And the front are just, it's, it's bloody lush. And I would, to be fair, I would wear that with a pair of jeans. I'd probably even like put it on top of this or underneath this. I just absolutely love it. It's knit. It feels really, really lovely, high quality. I wore that on Christmas day with the matching joggers that you will also see that I purchased in the vlogs, which are amazing. Aren't they just fab? And I love the little, 
the little badge there. I've never skied in my life, by the way, so I don't know whether this is a bit naughty, but I've got a little back pocket. We got Andrew's mum a pair of these as well, and we both wore them on Christmas Day because they were up for Christmas. So that was really lovely. You will see me wearing that on Instagram. It was really just very wintry and cute. Cute aesthetic. Love it. Keeping on theme with jumpers, I got this one. This was towards the end of the trip, and I will only ever get Emma Warren jumpers, her dog jumpers, I absolutely love them. To be honest, I'll have any of her jumpers, I love her designs. But I am getting just too many jumpers in my wardrobe now that I think it's gonna be restricted to Disney, like Disney own jumpers and then Emma Warren jumpers. Because it's just getting a little bit out of hand. I feel like I have the mentality of like one in one out. I absolutely love this jumper, love the red. And then on the back, it's all embroidered here. It's almost like a spirit, spirit jersey. I don't feel like I am a spirit jersey kind of gal, but this gives me spirit jersey vibes. And I love the Disney logo there. Um, yeah, love this jumper. It's a little bit cropped as well. So you can wear it with like, tuck it into jeans or something. Love it. I actually wore this yesterday. So um, it was technically in the wash, but this was a jumper that came with the mugs from our lovely American friend that uh, shipped them over because I saw this and I was like, oh my God. Similar design to the other, the other things that I have. I am a sucker for embroidery and it's all on the arms and it's a quarter zip and I just feel really bougie in it. And it goes all the way around as well on the back too. I love it and green is my favorite color so to get it in the green I just it's magical really these two pieces are from free people in America the exchange rate at the at the time worked out so good in our favor it was like buying these bits on ASOS discounted I love blouses wearing a blouse black jeans and Doc Martens and a lovely coat. That makes me feel really done up and like I've made an effort. The white blouse I had been rocking has gotten a little bit too big and not as flattering as it used to be. So I was in the hunt for another white blouse. So I picked this one up from Free People and it is so darn lovely and it's just so delicate. I would have liked to have gone a size down but because I am bigger chested and um, because it's cropped it like it almost like lifts up the front a little bit and then you could see the bottom of my bra and I'm like I'm not about that when the house tour goes up on my YouTube um, I am wearing this and it makes me feel really really pretty even like the little cuffs as well I love it. And then the other item that I've just been religiously wearing is this, it's like a thin V jumper. I wear it with, again, with my black jeans. It is a little bit higher up at the front, so I tuck it in and then it's like lower at the back. But it is that just typical free people, boho-y type of look. I like the color as well. And then I'm a sucker for cuffs. Last but not least, I got this scarf from, I believe it was Ron John's. Is it Ron John's at Disney Springs? This scarf, and it's that really, really stretchy material, but because I've got orange hair and it's got orange in it and I've got like a few green coats, how amazing is this? I feel really, really bad that I haven't worn this yet and it's been like super duper cold, but I've kept it in a bag because I knew I needed to do this haul. So I'm gonna start using all this stuff now. I mean, I've opened the Jolly Ranchers. Don't come at me. Not a massive fan of the bobbles at the end. It's from the brand Simply Southern. It's given me, yeah, retro vibes, 70s, groovy. It's almost like symbolizes our time at Pop Century. Lastly is the big fat purchase that I made when we came home. It's my Mickey bag. I love this so much. I mean, don't get me wrong, at the Italian pavilion at Epcot, there was a Disney Gucci bag, but you can absolutely bugger off. I'm not paying 1400 pounds 
for a bag that's maybe a little bit bigger than this. But this is just so me. I've never felt like more me before in my life. I like it because I can literally wear it as a evening bag because I go out in the evenings all the time. Or just, yeah, wear it with the strap. I just absolutely love it. I did see it at Coach in America, but they wanted me to spend like $50 more. Um, and I was like, oh, I thought you said this price. She was like, no, that's for the even smaller version of this. I was like, oh no, I don't want it then. So I didn't get it. But then I came home and a month later they were advertising this bag and I'm like, stop showing me, stop using my cookies against me. But I absolutely love it. It's neutral, but Disney. That is everything. I've probably missed a few things. I just cannot wait to use all of these things now. <laughs> Some of the things, obviously clothes I have been wearing, but the mugs I have not been drinking out from, the pins I want to display um, in a way that I haven't quite worked out yet. Brownies have been eaten. It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very much aware of how lucky I am to be able to have done the trip that we did and just so, so many things now to remind us of such a spectacular time. And if you have done a Disney haul or you are heading to Disney, I want to know everything. Make me jealous because we may have a trip booked in the pipeline, but it's not exactly tomorrow. Share with me all your deets. Let me know what your favorite thing maybe was that you might have purchased as well or something that you might have your eye on for when you're going out there that's on your list. I would love to know. Are you a Brit? Do you go to America with a little Target Walmart list to stock up the goods? Yeah, I wanna know because I want to potentially add them to my list. Lots of love and I shall see you very shortly with some home content. Bye.